एवरीवन व्हाट्सअप वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल आज हम बनाने वाले हैं किलर मोशन ग्राफिक स्लाइड एनिमेशन कम्प्लीटली इन एडोबी आफ्टर इफेक्ट फ्रॉम स्क्रैच मैं आपको स्टेप बाय स्टेप गाइड करूंगा सो बस साथ साथ फॉलो कर दे जाना और हाँ डिस्क्रिप्शन में जो लिंक है वहाँ से फ्री प्रोजेक्ट फाइल जरूर डाउनलोड कर लेना तो बिना टाइम वेस्ट किए लेट्स जंप स्ट्रेट इट इट सो फर्स्टली लेट्स क्रिएट अव कॉम्पोजिशन फर्स्ट एंड लेट्स कॉल इट एज स्लाइड यू आई एनिमेशन एंड प्रीसेट हम यहाँ पर लेंगे फ्रेम रेट विदर्टी फ्रेम पर सेकेंड एंड ड्यूरेशन हम ट्वेंटी सेकेंड्स का लेने एंड बैकग्राउंड कलर विल बी ब्लैक हिट ओके एंड नाउ हिट ओके अगेन नाउ अब हम एक बैकग्राउंड एड करेंगे फर्स्टली सो गो टू लेयर सेलेक्ट न्यू एंड सेलेक्ट द सॉलिड लेयर इसको हम नेम दे देंगे बी जी फॉर बैकग्राउंड एंड यू कैन गो विद एनी कलर जस्ट हिट ओके हिट ओके एंड नाउ अब हम इस पे एक इफेक्ट एड करेंगे ग्रेडियंट रैप इफेक्ट जस्ट एड अ ग्रेडियंट रैप इफेक्ट सर्च फॉर द ग्रेडियंट रैप इफेक्ट एंड जस्ट अप्लाई इट नाउ यू कैन गो विद एनी कलर यू वॉन्ट यू आर फ्री टू यूज एनी कलर हम चूज करेंगे समथिंग लाइक बेबी ब्लूश टोन पर्पल लाइक समथिंग लाइक दिस हिट ओके एंड दूसरा कलर समथिंग अराउंड सियान या हिट ओके नाउ ड्रैक द फर्स्ट पॉइंट समथिंग लाइक एट दिस कॉर्नर and just drag this second point at this corner yeah perfect now our background is added now firstly let's add this shapes so grab the regular rectangle tool or you can go with the rounded rectangle tool make sure fill jo hai wo solid layer pe selected ho and the stroke is turned off let's change the fill color to a white color and now make a perfect shape like this yeah yeah perfect now our brownness thodi si increase karte hain iski hum समथिंग अराउंड थर्टी फाइव एंड नाउ इसको अलाइन करते हैं सेंटर ऑफ द कॉम्पोजिशन एंड मेक श्योर देंकर पॉइंट इज इन देंटर ऑफ द शेप नाउ अब हम कुछ एक और शेप एड करेंगे नाउ लेट्स क्विकली रिनेम दिस शेप टू मेन शेप नाउ अगेन ग्रैप द रेक्टेंगल टूल मेक श्योर द फिल इज सेट टू सॉलिड कलर इसका कलर हम समथिंग डिफरेंट चूज करेंगे इट विल बी विजिबल टू द अब द शेप लेट्स चूज दिस कलर मे बी अ ब्राइट कलर समथिंग लाइक दिस इट ओके नाउ जस्ट मेक अ परफेक्ट स्क्वायर लाइक शेप या आई थिंक इज गुड जस्ट इंक्रीज द राउंड लिटिल बिट परफेक्ट लेट्स गो फॉर ट्वेंटी फाइव नाउ लेट्स कॉल इट एज इन अर शेप शेप मास्क नाउ लेट्स क्विकली एड दीज टू टेक्स फर्स्ट सो लेट्स ग्रैप द टेक्स टाइप टूल एंड टाइप य टेक्सट फेब टू कॉमा ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फाइव सेलेक्ट यू टेक्सट एट द फिल कलर टू अ ब्लैक कलर नॉट टू मच ब्लैक मे बी अ ग्रे स्टोन हिट ओके नाउ फॉर द फॉन्ट आई एम यूजिंग द मॉन्सराट फॉन्ट यू कैन गो विद एनी फॉन्ट यू लाइक बट द मॉन्सराट इज द बेस्ट फॉन्ट फॉर द यू आई एनिमेशन लेट्स गो विद स्टाइल ऑफ रेगुलर स्टाइल मे बी लेट्स गो फॉर अ मीडियम जस्ट डिक्रीज द साइज लिटिल बिट एंड डिक्रीज द कर्निंग टू नेगेटिव थर्टी लेट्स गिव अ स्पेस बिटवीन फेवरी टू एंड नाउ दिस इज परफेक्ट नाउ लेट्स चूज अ कलर मे बी अ लाइट कलर फॉर दिस lighter gray perfect hit okay make sure the anchor point is in the center of the text now let's align it quickly around the small square perfect let's decrease the size to 50 pixels let's go for 55 perfect now our text first text is done let's duplicate it hold control d to make a duplicate of this text and just holding shift and down arrow key let's drag it down and just let's rename this to component collection let's choose this color to component collection select your text just take the color dropper tool and just let's choose this color and for the style let's go for a semi bold style just increase the size decrease the size maybe let's go for 40 pixels just align it something like this yeah let's increase the shape uh, of the white shape let's quickly unlink the size unlink shape and let now we can adjust the width and height Uh, separately let's increase the width little bit let's go for 715 and let's go for the size of width to maybe 210 i think is good now again let's align it in the center of the composition now it's good let's quickly align our text in the center of this something like this let's adjust our first text something like this yeah now it's good now it's time to add a video you can add photo on it but the video looks super cool so let's add a video shape layer so quickly let's go to project panel and let's drag the video footage one above the inner shape and just link the track mat to the inner shape and your video will be track mat to the smaller shape you had drawn so your video will be played inside the shape not outside the shape so yeah 
now you can adjust the shape a little bit like this and your video will be automatically aligned according to your shape uh, position so yeah now you can add drop shadow you like but i am going with this i like this now quickly let's align our text a little bit like something here yeah now our first let's quickly turn off our sound so you don't get messed up so our first shape is almost done let's quickly duplicate it so firstly let's select all the shape layers including the main shape and just right click go to pre-compose and now let's call it as box shape one it okay now our box shape is almost done so let's make something else so let's quickly add this blue uh, number so just grab the ellipse tool and make sure the fill is set to a uh, solid color let's choose a uh, let me a uh, bright color right cyan and holding shift just make a perfect circle let's go with any any other color let's go with a different color let's go for the green yeah perfect it's good for notification type let's name it as ui uh, let's call it a notified circle perfect let's align it at the corner of the shape something like this perfect now let's grab the text type tool and type the number you want let's go with five let's change the color to white now let's align it something around here in the center of the eclipse let's zoom in a little bit yeah let's increase the size to 50 pixels now let's align it again in the center of the ellipse make sure the anchor point is in the center let's choose the color for this maybe a dark grayish color and now it's looking good perfect let's now what you have to do is just set the numbers track mat to the notified circle ellipse and just turn on this uh, circle ellipse layer and now just also parent the number layer to the notified circle layer so it will move now holding shift select both the layers and just parent it to the main box shape so whenever we move the shape our ellipse will be moved with it automatically so yeah now our almost first animation is ready but the next part will be an animation you have you are seeing this second slide so let's duplicate this box shape so go to project panel and just go to box shape composition and hit ctrl d to make a duplicate of it just double click to open it and now just you have to change the video layer so to make a duplicate of the video one and now just make a duplicate of the video one and now just holding alt make sure the video say duplicated layer is selected just may holding alt just drag the second video clip over here so yeah so our next video will be applied let's decrease the size little bit let's align it here something like this perfect yeah now it's good now quickly let's uh, change the text so for the second text let's go for january 19 2025 let's grab the text type tool and type jan let's go for january 20 2025 let's align it something like this and for the second text bringing it's written bringing out the best let's select this text layer let's type bringing out the best yeah now just align it something like this holding shift just select both the text layers and let's quickly align it something like closer than the shape now our second shape is already ready now just we have to drag and drop this so go to project panel and just drag the box shape to become underneath the box shape one layer so just turn off the sound so you don't get messed now we have two different boxes with the different video layers so yeah it's time to animate them so firstly let's make some animations with the cursor so let's go with our composition now in the footage let's go for png and just drag this cursor png underneath and now let's hit s to open the scale properties just decrease the scale a little bit hit r to open the rotation properties just set the rotation a little bit like this just set the position of this to at this corner and just also decrease the scale a little bit let's go for 15 pixels now again let's set the position to something like this so basically uh, what you can see is when our cursor comes at this corner our slide goes up and the second slide comes in so let's make it so just select this cursor layer and hit p to open the position properties and make a 
keyframe on position hit t to open the opacity property and make a keyframe again on opacity and again hit r to open the r rotation properties and make a keyframe on r rotation hit u to see all those uh, keyframe properties and just drag these keyframes to something around forward like two to three frames forward and now make sure the playhead is at the beginning of the timeline just drag the cursor position to something around here decrease the opacity and just adjust some rotation for the final feel now whatever animation will look like this just select your keyframes hit f9 for easy ease just go to your speed graph editor and just make a graph something like this now our animation will look like this perfect now uh, make sure the playhead is at the second keyframe so basically when our cursor comes at this corner of the slide our slide holds up so what we have to do is select the box shape layer and just hit P to open the position property make a keyframe on position and just move the playhead to around two to three frames forward something like this not too much now let's set the vertical position to something like up or too much something like this so let's see our animation yeah so our shape glides up something like this let's select these keyframes and i'm using the bounce r script you can use the bounce expression also but this is super cool and easy to add the bounce effect to your uh, animations so let's set the property to selected and just set the expression to overshoot and just hit bounce and the bounce effect will be applied just in the effect controls panel let's set the amplitude to 35 and now let's see our animation yeah perfect let's make the keyframes little closer yeah now it's good now again make sure the playhead is at the second keyframe let's select the box to shape layer and hit p to open the position property and make a keyframe on position again hit t to open the opacity property make a keyframe on opacity hit s to open the scale property and just make a keyframe on scale hit u to see all the properties at once just move the playhead to something like this and move the play move the keyframes like around this keyframe this frame and now go back to the previous frame something like this just decrease the scale to maybe 30 and decrease the opacity and just change the vertical position a little bit up now now our animation will look like this let's adjust the keyframe now quickly let's select the keyframes and apply the bounce effect now quickly let's drag it closer to our first keyframes and just select all the keyframes and now let's align it something like this so our slide gets up our second slide comes in so let's in the effect controls panel let's set the amplitude like the same as 35 now our animation will look like this perfect so it looks so cool now let's add our another text to like weave all so again go to our main precomp and let's quickly hit u to hide all the keyframes so let's grab the text type tool and type text weave all select the text just change the color to a white color just decrease the size to maybe 45 and decrease the turning to negative 35 and just change the style to a bold color now align it in the center of the composition not vertically just horizontally at the center of the composition now let's see where our slide animation ends just drag the text to something down here perfect now let's make an animation for this so when our second slide comes in our text will fade from down to up so let's select the text hit p to open the position property and just make a keyframe on position hit t to open the opacity property make a keyframe on opacity just hit u to see all the keyframes now just drag these two keyframes a little bit one frame or two frame forward and before just make sure the playhead is the, at the this frame around two seconds frame just drag the vertical position of the text set it down and decrease the opacity to zero percent just select the both keyframes hit apply the bounce effect and in the effect controls panel set the amplitude to 35 and now our animation will look like this let's make it a little closer perfect let's make it a little closer yeah now it's looking good let's quickly split it from the left so we don't want that layer so our animation will look like this yeah and you can 
later on you can fade out like this or you can quickly reverse the animation uh, like the first game and it goes like this so let's quickly make that animation so at this frame around three seconds let's quickly hit u to see the box one shape precom keyframes and just make a keyframe on position by clicking on this little keyframe icon to give it a pause just move the play head to a little bit like around three frame just copy the first keyframe hit ctrl c and hit ctrl v to paste the keyframe and our animation will look like this so yeah it will looking good now again at this frame just select the shape 2 precomp hit u to see its keyframe again by clicking on these little keyframe icons give it a pause move the play head to around this keyframe and just select the first keyframes of the animation hit ctrl c and hit ctrl v to paste the keyframes so our first slide down comes down and the second slide glides back so yeah and now for our final text will be animation like this so select the weave alt text and make a keyframe on position and opacity to give it a pause move the play head to something around at this frame just copy the first two keyframes hit ctrl c and hit ctrl v to paste the keyframes now our animation will end and at last add four seconds or maybe like previous just add the opacity to keyframes to all the layers so let's holding shift select both the pre comp layers hit t to open the opacity properties make a keyframe on opacity and now let's set the opacity to zero so yeah and also let's add these hit t to open the opacity property move the playhead to add this keyframe just decrease the opacity like this now let's select all the keyframes and just apply the box effect perfect now at last our cursor animation so select the cursor layer hit u to see its keyframes and now our animation let's give it a pause by clicking on the little keyframe icons now again move the playhead to something like this and just change the position of the cursor something like this decrease the opacity and you can play with the rotation properties something like this and now our animation will look like it's too fast let's a little far away perfect now our animation will end here let's quickly split the text layer something around here let's quickly split these layers something around here let's split these two layers something around here perfect now let's add a mark out hit n to open the mark out and holding shift select all the layers hit u to hide all the properties and at last just turn on the motion blur for each layer and now let's see our final animation after the playback render I got a bone to pick. perfect so yeah ye hamara animation tha to is video ke liye itna hi and milte hain next video mein aise hi amazing animations ke sath so grab the free project file from the description below and follow me on instagram and subscribe on youtube like this video until then i will see you in my next video